there was a letter from the Rebbe to Rabbi Hutner. Rabbi Hutner was a very big Litvish uh, Rosh Hashiva. Rabbi Hutner, Rabbi Yitzhak Hutner, he lived in New York, and everybody knew him. He was a Rosh Hashiva, he was a great scholar. And he knew the Rebbe from before the Rebbe became Rebbe. The Rebbe once told my father that Rabbi Hutner knows me already from years back. And the Rebbe sent him some new Sfarim that came out from Kahos. The Sefer Likutim, when it started to come out, the Rebbe sent him several volumes. And the Rebbe wrote to him that I hope that you would take interest in, this, in these new books that he came out. That's why I'm sending you, sending you these books. He wrote to the Rebbe a letter that he's taken aback and he's offended. He says, when you write to somebody that maybe you'll take interest, that means that you and the book are, are actually two different things. You're apart from the book and you are taking interest in this book. Like I gave you an example before, when a tourist comes to tour a, a certain a certain country, he's not connected to the country. He's coming to tour, he's coming to see, to look at it, to take an interest in it. But somebody lives in his house, he's not touring his house. This is his highest, this is his house. So he wrote to the Rebbe that he's taken aback. He says most of him, what he's Rabbi Hutner, is he took from Chassidus Chabad. He says if you take out Chabad from Rabbi Hutner, there won't be much left of Rabbi Hutner. So here, for how could you just say, I should take an interest? This is part of me. This is me. How could you say that I should take only an interest in it? This was the letter that Rabbi Hutner sent back to the Rebbe. So I asked him, Ashpia, where well, the Rebbe didn't know who Rabbi Hutner was. So he knew Rabbi Hutner very well. So if Rabbi Hutner claims that he's part of Chabad, how does the Rebbe Be'etzim write to him that I hope you would take an interest in the books in Chassidus, B'Sha'as Rabbi Hutner uh, proclaims that he's actually part of it. So he told me what he heard once from my father, Allah Vashodim. My father, Allah Vashodim, once told him that the Rebbe Rashab said that the Talmidim from Chafetz Chaim, even if they learn a lot of Siddhis, they won't be Chassidim. Why is that? Because they don't have a Rebbe. It's not only learning Chassidus, it's together with learning Chassidus, you have to be connected. And connected to Chassidus, you can be connected only through the Rebbe. Rabbi Hutner learned Chassidus, and by him Chassidus was a very real, interesting philosophy, and he used it in his speeches and his teachings, but he wasn't a Chassid. He wasn't connected. And that's why the Rebbe wrote to him, as we mentioned before, that he would take an interest in Chassidus. To be a Chassid, the only way you could be a Chassid is being connected with the Rebbe. You connected the Rebbe, then Chassidus becomes your life. If somebody learns Chassidus, because he has an interest in learning Chassidus, and he likes Chassidus, it could inspire him to a certain amount of, of inspiration. But to say that he lives with it, that he, he won't be able to live with it. The only way to live with it is with, through a Rebbe. Why is that? This Chassidus is something that's higher than a person completely. And to live with Chassidus is very, very, you have to, you have to be there. You have to be, like the Rebbe Rashab said when he learned Lekot it says, Ilu Yedaitiv, Oh, Yisif. That means to say, when you learn Chassidus, he's there. And for us, Sinim, when we learn Chassidus, that's not enough. We have to be there. We have to be connected to the Rebbe.